Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be swapping out this old cluster ribbon, this old circuit that's absolutely shagged for a brand new professionally manufactured, brand new spankers, new cluster ribbon slash circuit. Look, it's even got all, all the little tabs labeled. Ha <laughs> ha, hot damn. So yes, today's video is sponsored by Larry at Scirocco Printed Parts, who, he, this is not 3D printed, although he does do a lot of 3D printed parts for old Volkswagens, which we'll talk about a little bit later. This is actually professionally manufactured. So he sort of, um, I, I'm pretty sure he just tells people what he wants. He tells a company what he wants and uh, they do this for him. So. This I'm so excited to install. I will leave links to everything that Larry does in the show notes below. I highly recommend you go and give him a follow on Facebook, but we're gonna crack on with today's video and we'll talk about what Larry does a little bit later. Now, after taking off the original ribbon from the back of the cluster, you can see how corroded this thing is. You can see where it's become disconnected and it's not completing the circuit. It just looks absolutely haggard. Now look at the comparison to our nice new circuit. Look, it's even labeled. Look at that. It shows you where each one of those connections goes to. It's so fresh, so clean, so unmolested and ready to go. The original rabbit pickup cluster ribbon is off. Let's go ahead and put this on. What I've done is taken the speedo part, the speedo dial out of the back. It was just held on with these four screws. And when you take that off, you can then take this little black piece off. It's got little pincer things here. You just press those in and then it releases that. And then we put that aside for a second. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and lay that down set that in position. I'm being very cautious because I do not want to break anything. Okay, that's popped back in place. Sweet. There we go, look. This is looking so good. It's looking so much better already. I will now put this back on. Now, when you're working with very small little things like screws and bolts and washers that are really, really small, keep a pot nearby where you can put all that stuff in. As you can see, I'm using a Yankee candle lid. Pretty much all the screws done except from this one here. Now, I remember him saying that it does look upside down, but it's not. So what he's done is he's sent these to use as a spacer. So let's go ahead and put that on. Slide that in there. Put our little screw in there. Okay, I have now, that was really fiddly, but what I've done is I've put the little nut underneath as a washer and used the screw we provided and everything is connected. We just got to put the bulbs in now. Okay, that's everything screwed in and new bulbs are in as well. I guess there's only one more thing left to do. Let's test it out, shall we? Let's just give you one more little close up before we put this back into the dash. As you can see, I've used all the original parts that came off and just put them back in the same place. And all we've changed is the ribbon. And let's see what works. Moment of truth, here we go. Let's go ahead and use the hazard. There we go. Are both bulbs supposed to be going off? You've got the hazards or indicators or blinkers, depending on where you're from. Uh, let's, ooh, that's nice and bright. That is nice and bright. That's the alternator light. And here we've got indicate. Ooh, that's nice and bright. Wow. I wonder why 
Oh. That's strange. Anybody else's do that like but 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 Okay, okay, and if we turn the lights on, this is where it's gonna be ridiculously hard to see. The dimmer is all the way up before you start commenting. Hmm. Let's see if the alternator light goes out after we start it up. Hey! Nice! I've just realized as well that my fuel gauge is actually going up to where it should go. I mean, I don't know if how accurate that is, but I, like I said, I did put full a full tank of diesel in, and I'm not, I've never seen the temperature gauge go up like that before. I mean, I've only just turned the truck on. I've only just switched the engine on. I've never seen the temp gauge like that. I've just realized this light is on. You can really see it if I... See, look, I just... Let's just take a second to thank today's sponsor. Of course, all this would not be possible without Larry from Scirocco Printed Parts. Now, I know the name suggests that he only does things for Scirocco's, but that is not the case. He's actually sent me a list of things that he does, and I don't want to get this wrong, so let me just read it for you. Larry makes a lot of different parts replicated from OEM, including rare or no longer commercially available parts. And he also custom 3D prints parts. He makes brand new cluster flex circuits that OEM fit Mark I Volkswagens, including Scirocco, Rabbit, the GTI, Golf, Polo, Cabby, Caddy, and more. These circuits are professionally manufactured with modern products and are much higher quality than the OEM blue foils. He doesn't repair the old ones, he just sells the new ones. The different versions can be seen on his Facebook page. Shapeway is a third-party professional 3D printing service that is hosting a shop for him and does some of his printing and shipping. Parts that he makes are listed there and on his Facebook page. The best way to get hold of Larry is probably through his Facebook page, which I'll link in the description below, along with his website, which you can scroll through the website and see the products that he can do. But if there is something that you don't see, maybe send him a little message and see if he can make it for you. Aside from all that, Larry does offer really, really good quality customer service. There were times when I was doing this installment and I was sending him videos, photos, and asking him a bunch of questions and he was right there responding straight away. So ace customer service. Like I said before, I will leave Larry's Facebook page and his website in the description below. Get yourself one of these new circuits and upgrade your cluster. It's honestly, you will not regret it. Again, all the links in the description below. Back to the video. Guys, it is a couple of days later. It is very, very late. It's about midnight. Now here, this is a pack. Please ignore the dirt under my nails. This is what was in the, the cluster these little T5 style bulbs, because I wanted to go to this sort of authentic look. But turns out the, the lights are very, very dim. This is a T5 style LED with the little home that it lives in. Now what I've done is I've swapped out the bulbs for the LED ones. I knew, I know I said I wasn't gonna do it because I wanted to go the authentic OEM look but they're just really, really dim. And you remember before we were having trouble lighting up the both the dials, right? Since I have changed them to LEDs, and I'll show you what this looks like at night time. Let's go with just the lights. Look at that. Look at that. So we've got two LEDs on the clock here. So there's one there and one there. And then do you remember that one that required like a wire going to it? The only thing is, this is how much they dim. So not a whole bunch. I know you can get LEDs that really do dim, but maybe that's for another time, but that doesn't really bother me anyway. And ignore the time, that's not the real time because I've been fidgeting about with this cluster. But anyway, that's pretty bright, isn't it? So, so let's turn the keys. Look, 
that is actually, I tell a lie, that is actually still the real bulb. So that's quite nice and bright, the alternator light there is very bright. Look at that. Look at that. So we got on and off, but they're working as they should, on and off. And of course, we've got a nice bright LED indicator. Amazing. The only thing that's like on my mind at the moment is when I hit the hazard switch, is that normal? Like, should the, should the dials be going off as well? I thought it was just the green uh, blinker light. We turn those off and then we've lost the dials completely, which is really weird. So I turn the keys off and they come back again and you turn the key on. Do you know what I mean? Is that normal? Is that normal? That to me, oh look, now they stay on. Very strange. Okay, let's try ignition on. Okay. Everything still works as it should. Little flash, lovely. We turn those off. Little flash, that still works. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now, I know you can get LEDs for these as well. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I like that nice and dim light. I think if we went LED with that, it would be too bright in here. But, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even use this light, to be fair. I'm quite impressed with how this all went. Just to give you a little uh, reference, this is the, the product that I got from Amazon. It was about nine UK pounds for a pack of 10 LEDs. Is it the authentic OEM style look? Perhaps not, but at least I'll have working lights and lights that are bright enough so you can see things like gauges. <laughs> So that's always a plus. Now the next thing for the cluster front would be to get these 52 mil gauges working, all hooked up. I don't, they should come with lights, right? There should be lights inside those dials. That's the next thing to be working on. So we've got oil pressure, temperature and voltage. I'm looking forward to having those working. The more and more I go down this rabbit hole of, you know, how the, the truck works, it's uh, more appealing to me to know what exactly is going on with the truck at all times, like voltage, how much voltage is, is the battery putting out, is the alternator working, that sort of thing. Temperature gauge is always good to know. And of course, oil, oil pressure for me is something that I'm gonna do a deep dive and learn more about, so. But yeah, there we go. Apologies for this low quality, low light ending to the video. But it is very, very late on a Saturday night. What did you do last Saturday night? Well, I sat in my truck for about an hour, twiddling with the cluster and electrics and twiddling around with little bulbs trying to make the, the dash light up. But uh, yeah, the things we do, eh? The things we do. Oh, also on the cluster front, we're still yet to install the speedo cable. And of course, the 52 mil gauges, get all those working. And we're looking pretty close to having a few things, few more things ticked off on the truck. So tune in next time. I'm sure we're going to be diving into those things. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you haven't seen any of our other videos, go back and have a little watch. Enjoy yourself, but not too much. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s. Rhapsody, the greatest hit the day my mama made me. 99 problems, why I don't look or sound.